everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Assalamu alaikum. Wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope that every and each one of you living a comfortable life in his or her place. Today we are going to talk about uh, what do you mean by thinking outside the box. What is the box? The box is a rigid structure. The box is a rigid structure. The structure has got walls, ceiling, top, and bottom, which is the base. And within this rigid structure, you find that people cannot move easily inside it. Our life has a box. The box of our life is the atmosphere around us that we are living inside such atmosphere. The box of our life is the atmosphere or the climate. You see. Each one of us has a box, and we live inside our box. According what? According what we have learned from our society, according what we have in ourselves as talents or as abilities, according to our education, according to our culture and all this kind of thing will enable me to live inside the box that's surrounding my life while I'm still living on earth. So none of us can live without a box. But sometimes the box could be a tool of controlling you, a tool of reducing your ability to think. The question is now, can we live outside the box or not? Each one of us has to ask himself or herself, can we live in outside the box or not? Not all of us can take the risk of living outside the box. Because when you live inside the box, you live inside the traditional thing that you do every day. Every day, every week, every month, every year, for years. So it's a very comfortable zone. It's a very stable. You don't have to think too much. You do the same thing hundred or thousand times or millions of times in your life. But when you decide to try to come outside the box, you will face another challenge. A lot of challenges, changing challenges. These challenges could be extremely difficult, could be extremely hard, could be even destructive to you and your life if you cannot manage yourself. So coming outside the box is not a good choice for the people who cannot have the, the, do not have the ability to live outside the box. Living outside the box actually have two uh, contradicting results. One of them, or not only one of them, each one of them will depend on the individual himself or herself. If I am very strong, very able, very visionary uh, individual who have talent, okay, I will be able to manage my life outside the box and face all the challenge because I have the characteristics of meeting challenges, changing atmosphere, and making the proper social changes. If you are one of those people, I advise you not to live inside the box, but live outside the box because you will be very successful because you would like to have a bigger space for yourself to produce what you want to do for your society. The second one is an individual who is very traditional, does not have the ability like the first one, who is always hesitant, always changing his mind or her mind 24-7, gets used only to do the very traditional work, does not have an identity, does not have uh, uh, brilliant ideas, and all his ideas is contradicting one another. If this man or this woman 
try to live outside the box, it will be very, very, very challenging and destructive for themselves. Better to live inside the box. None of us, not all of us, not all of us actually, will have the ability to live outside the box. Who is the leader? Like yourself, like herself, like ourselves. Actually. A leader, what one of the characteristic of the leaders? The leader cannot live inside this rigid box. The leaders cannot live inside these rigid boxes. One of their characteristics is that we are all agree upon is the leader can create can create the atmosphere to allow his followers or her followers to explore their potential and to explore their potential and be able to make the change such a climate will let them to be able to make the change the positive change in society so they can change the society because the leader allowed them to live in the atmosphere that he created for them, the positive atmosphere. Another characteristic for the leader is, in, 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 beside making such an atmosphere, actually, he could create to a certain category of people another more flexible, expanding, changing boxes, not the rigid boxes which have been created for, for us by the society. Because the society around us creating a rigid box and putting us inside it. But such a leader who uh, are able to create this kind of uh, uh, flexible, expanding, and changeable, actually, or changing boxes for such an individual who are actually traditional and get used to live inside the box and don't have the ability to live in the outside atmosphere. He put them in this kind of expanding boxes, actually. This is the second characteristic of such a leader who either create an atmosphere or at the same time build this kind of flexible uh, offices. You know why? Because this will enable him to get all his followers who are get you or get used to live inside the rigid boxes because of their inability to come outside to the open atmosphere. So we have got the rigid boxes actually made by the society, the flexible, uh, expanding, changeable boxes created by the, pione the pioneering leadership or the atmosphere that the such leader to uh, uh, create for his followers to explore their potential so they can make the positive social change, okay? As I mentioned before, to us, the society and the family are boxing us inside their own boxes, which is filled by traditional, by culture, by, by values and by other. And sometimes the society is controlling us. Not sometimes, most of the time. Here we have to revolt against that and we tell them, okay, fine, we cannot make social, positive social change unless we break these walls of the boxes or we make expanding boxes or we create a new atmosphere and we face the challenges in the society. And the family tradition as well is another box. Oh, don't do that, do that, don't do that, do that, don't do that. Do. No, 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 no. It is good, but not good enough. Let me give you an example of how can we live outside the box. I remember 1993, which was a pioneering idea. Soon I was registered Islamic Relief in, uh, in UK, uh, uh, 1989. We decided to go outside the box of our community in Birmingham, the box of our community in UK, the box of our community in Europe. What did we decide to do? We decided to join the United Nations to a bigger, more flexible, a wide global box. To be inside, 
uh, the decision making machine to be a part of the decision making people to learn from them and what we learned a lot because we were attending most uh, of the meetings which could be in Africa, in Latin America, maybe in Asia, maybe in South Africa, maybe in Europe, maybe in America, maybe in Canada to learn and to see different ideas and to explore what actually the achievement of other nations and other organizations. Such a decision in 1993, more than 30 years ago, made us to be protected during September the 11th, during September the 11th. And when we look at it this way, look at the history of the Prophet ﷺ, when he used to send his followers, Sahaba Kiram, عنهم, especially after the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, in spite of the fact that the Treaty of Hudaybiyah was not a just treaty to the Muslims and made Umar and Abu Bakr to argue with one another because Umar was very mad about how did we accept such a treaty and Abu Bakr told him, yani, keep quiet, it is the Prophet actually who is accepting this, so don't talk about the Prophet. So when he used to send his followers during this period of peace huh, to send spread da'wah, he never gave them uh, a way to spread the da'wah. He let every and each one of them to spread the da'wah according to his understanding. After knowing what is the da'wah about, it's about tawheed. So the main, call, the main message was tawheed, justice, social change. But the way he let every one of his companions to spread da'wah in different parts of the world, made it to be done by himself only. So, so those people who went to as far as China, went to Africa, went to Middle East, went to Europe and others, each one of them was discovering a new climate and according to the climate, he was accommodating the da'wah at the time. This is uh, Hudaybi. The second one, Prophet Hassan was looking at the pioneering idea at the time of the battlefield of Al-Ahzab, which is actually when the, all the parties or everybody came uh, uh, to uh, surrounding al Medina, and uh, it, um, the, the, about the Muslims were about nearly 3,000 people and the Kafir was about more than 10,000 people. All the tribes came together uh, to fight the prophets. Came somebody who was not an Arab originally, Salman al-Farisi, the Sahabi, and told Prophet Muhammad, he said, yes, he said, can we dig a ditch? He said, what does it mean? Because this was not practiced in the, in the Arabian Peninsula. He said, he showed him how to, dig, how to dig it, and they dug it. This became the barrier between the army of the disbeliever and the few uh, Muslim who are actually defending Medina. 10,000 against 3,000, actually. So it gave them a protective way of a protective method, uh, a method to protect themselves and protect uh, uh, the army and al Medina as well. So Prophet Sallallahu was always looking ab ab for new ideas, was always looking for ideas outside the box, or always thinking outside the box, while actually he was protecting his own community and was spreading the da'wah because he has the message to deliver and um, the message actually to protect the society as well. When we look again, uh, here, we are talking about thinking outside the box, thinking outside the box, fine, that's fine. But thinking outside the box without a regulation is wrong. The difference between being inside the box, boxed, traditional man, and he cannot come and think outside, and somebody who opened all the doors without any control, this kind of of uh, opening the doors without any control means that I may be losing my identity. I may be losing my values. I may be losing my character. I may be losing my history. I may be losing my morality. My, my, all this kind of So if we open the boxes or we think outside the box or we go outside the box, we should not look like others. We should look 
like ourselves. We should keep our identity, keep our values, keep our moral system, and respect our principles while we are working outside the box. This is actually for the people who think, oh, I am in Europe, let me do, if I am Rome, uh, let me do what the Roman are doing. No. No. Absolutely wrong. If I am in Rome, I am still a Muslim. If I am in Los Angeles, I am still a Muslim. If I am in Las Vegas, you know what Las Vegas means? I am still a Muslim. If I am anywhere, I am still a Muslim, I have got my principles, I have got my identity, I have got my character, I am open-minded, but with an identity. Don't ever lose your identity when you think that you be to thinking, uh, when you think that you actually th uh, thinking outside the box or working outside the box. Working outside the box is something challenging. We need it to have. We need to have it, but we need to have it regulated. Without regulation, without knowledge, without understanding, without bonding with one another, particularly when we are a minority in the West or in the East, whether we are in China in the East or we are actually America in the Far West, actually, we should come together to, uh, to maintain our identity while we are actually thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box was one of the characteristics not only of the social workers, but of the prophets and of the messengers of Allah and of the pioneer people because they were looking for something that the society cannot see. They were trying to discover something that the society does not understand. That's why most of those people who were thinking outside the box left heritage, wealth of knowledge for generation to come. In spite of the fact some of them were being killed by their own society when they were actually explaining to them the new idea. Always the new idea come out of the people who think outside the box. Please, brothers and sisters, please, daughter and sons, please, auntie and uncle, think outside the box, but within regulation. Don't lose your identity while you are thinking outside the box. And teach your children to think outside the box and to present their identity at the same time when they actually think outside the box. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week in the second episode.